Hi, welcome to the MRO Show presented by Chadwell Supply. I'm your host, Rebecca Wagner, and today we're going to be talking about how student turns really are different. I am joined by two amazing guys in our field. Thanks, Rebecca. This is Chris Wanzer, uh, Territory Sales Manager with Chadwell Supply right here in Orlando, Florida. And Matt Neville, National Account Manager with Chadwell Supply. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. So I want to just start by asking, what makes student turns different than our everyday MRO business? Sure. Well, make ready and uh, turns are similar in the products that are used and the type of work that is required at the property. However, the differentiator is just the volume of the number of units that you have to turn for student housing. Essentially, you're getting an entire apartment building ready to go in a two and a half week period. Um, so the volume, how much you need to order, when you need to order it, the deadlines, whereas make readies, you typically have about a 30 day notice when you know somebody's going to be leaving that apartment. Um, with student turns, you're starting a, almost 11 months out uh, with anticipation for that student. You'd ideally want to keep the student in that unit. So the better your turn is, the more, uh, the more likely you are to keep that renewal in for the following year. Okay. Yeah, and Matt, like, what would you say kind of on average for, you know, just a regular turn, you know, for average size property, maybe 10 at most in a month's time is what you'll encounter. But for student turns, we're talking upwards close to 100. At least minimum, yeah, 100 units. And if you think about each of those units could have four bedrooms, they've got a kitchen. So there's they're, they're not just the typical standard two bedroom, one bath unit. You're talking about a four bedroom, four bath unit in many cases. Um, with student turns also, they're having to hire and bring people in from outside their company, also looking for volunteers. I think you mentioned your daughter was a volunteer, right, at the property that we're doing this podcast yeah. at. Yeah, yeah, she was. Yeah, the, I mean, the every aspect of the property just gets, you know, bombarded. It gets chaotic at times, and they'll they'll be honest about that. Even in the office, there's just so much going on, having to schedule and prepare and every all these moving parts. And uh, she was able to help out, you know, with that this past uh, past year and everything and and they do you know a lot of these properties they just don't have the the number of people you know to be able to achieve this in such a short amount of time so they bring on all the help that they can so it's yeah the deck is full of people <laughs> you're you're working you're you're going fast paced they are busy yep Absolutely. So both of you have a lot of experience with student turn. So can you tell us a little bit about um, what what would be some advice that you would give somebody that maybe this is their first time kind of entering in this arena? Yeah, I think um, in our previous episode, uh, we spoke with Xavier, uh, property manager from the Phoenix Orlando, and he hit it right on the head. Uh, and you did as well, Matt, saying starting 11 months out, it's, it's all about preparation. Uh, just making sure, you know, all the I's are dotted, T's are crossed as much as you possibly can um, so that you're just not running into, you know, any things that just come up and create this urgency already in the midst of a kind of a chaotic time period. Um, so that's, I think, the biggest thing, even as, a, you know, as a Chadwell, Chadwell rep, just getting out in front of everything as soon as you possibly can, making it as seamless as possible with the property management team and the maintenance uh, team as well. And uh, it just helps things go a lot smoother uh, from inventory standpoint, scheduling standpoint, from the property management aspect uh, and our side as well, you know, with, with inventory. Yeah, I would say, uh, and to piggyback on what you said, communication and being transparent, both as the vendor to the apartment manager or the community manager, and same with the community manager to the vendor. So what we found in many cases, if there is something that's missing or, you know, as you, like you said, crossing the T's and dotting the I's, there's got to be a mutual partnership. And that way they're able to, you know, as a, as a person who's running the property, you really, you should be able to say, these are my budgets. This is my expectations. These are the things, these are the changes that we're looking to make. That way the vendor can be a true partner in helping you. Uh, if you're withholding information, that just gives more of a chance of failure at the end when you're trying to move that student in and the family coming in. So being honest and transparent, I think those are the keys for somebody starting new in the turn business. And I think that's something Chadwell Supply really prides ourselves on is that communication and being very transparent with all of our partners and letting them know that, you know, we have a a lag here or we have extra here or I just want to confirm you went to order this because last year you ordered this and just those clarifications. So, um, you know, I'm 
I think we do student turns some of the best in the industry, hands down. I would agree. I think you, utilizing our, we have currently right now, as you know, we have our supply chain update that comes out on a monthly basis. There are things on there that I've presented to my customers who are in student housing, and they were shocked to know that silicone is something that is in short order. So then when they're looking at those things, it's something as small as like patch for drywall, like that may be harder to come by. So if we're able to show those things to them, then they can prepare, you know, for that, uh, for that turn process. Maybe we need to order paint and sundries, maybe order that six months out rather than two months out to ensure that we have everything there. Yeah, the fact of, that we're able to work, you know, especially with Chatwell Supply with our renovations team, you know, we we treat this kind of as a renovation project. Uh, we can do a lot of that forecasting, you know, with inventory and different things like that. Uh, it, and it just makes it, you know, like Matt said, that transparency from our end and the customer's perspective. They love that. You know, Xavier talked about that in the last episode as well. He, he loves the fact that I'll come to him you know, I'll be completely transparent. If I, if I'm missing an item, I'll come with a substitute or backup that I can present to him at that time. Uh, and he just loves having that flexibility, you know, and the option, you know, to, to have that, uh, is, is really, really key. So it, it makes a big difference, you know, uh, the communication and transparency for both ends. I want to switch subjects just a little bit and, um, and ask you guys, when do you think students make their renewal decisions? Like, what are they looking for when they come in to say, I'm going to stay here all four years? Yeah, a lot of times the, the properties are asking for renewals within two weeks of your initial move-in date. Um, and depending on the location of the property, the school that you're at, your decisions need to come very quick. So you might have two weeks to three weeks max of living in your current apartment to understand if you're gonna to wanna to live there for the following year and subsequent years after that. Um, as we all know with students, they all kinda of wanna be in the same kind of popular area. So those properties tend to fill up pretty quick. And a lot of the uh, builders, developers, and management companies understand that. So purpose-built student housing, that's one of our specialties. Um, those are the, the uh, apartment complexes that have the businesses on the bottom, You know, whether it's a Chipotle or a restaurant, a hair salon, and then they then they can live above that. Those are highly desirable. Um, so I would say within the first two weeks, students are making decisions on the following years where they're gonna where they're gonna live, where they want to rent from. Okay, it's like the in you know from the property management side of things, how important you know kind of that first foot is you know in the door when that experience, what that's gonna be. And if things do get delayed, uh, you know, you're getting calls from parents right away. It, we're just not starting off on the right foot. Um, so everything just has kind of this trickle down effect um, in, you know, every part of, of a student turn. So they wanna make sure that right when, you know, they walk in, cause like you said, they're deciding within the first two weeks. So everything needs to be accounted for. It's in its right place. All the amenities on site as well have to be, you know, clean and presentable. And it's just, it's comfortable, right? When you move in, not, oh, I'm calling my mom because we're missing, you know, a complete <laughs> faucet or something like that. Right. Then the property manager is getting these calls and, you know, what an ordeal that turns into. So, yeah, I think what we started this off on is just planning, preparing ahead of time so that all this is as seamless as possible. Okay, so besides location, what would you say are some um, items that add value that most people may not even think about? Yeah, some of the, there's some technology items, um, whether it's an outlet with USB ports, those types of things, you know, we typically would, you'd want to see that in like the kitchen area. Often now we're, we were, most student housing properties would have one. Now we're trying to put one of those in each room. They might actually put two, one in the bathroom and one in the uh, bedroom. Um, other things are uh, something that, you know, your maintenance shed or your maintenance team should have is like an ozone machine. So that when you go in and you're turning a unit, um, there could be some odors, there might be some other types of smells in there. So you really could utilize an ozone machine. That's something that you should always have in the property. These are college kids, so and, yes. And that's right. <laughs> I We're all parents go there. in here, yeah, we yeah. understand. We know. <laughs> and then one of the other things that you may not think of when, uh, when you're repainting, typically there is a smell that goes along with repainting, but if you use one of the products that we have is called Patent Sensations. It's a mix-in product. So you can have vanilla bean, you can have orange, 
what you do is you take the product, it comes in a 10 ounce uh, squeezable can, you pour an ounce of that into the paint can, you mix that up, and then you paint the walls, and magically you have a wonderful smelling apartment and all you did was paint, which you were gonna do that the entire time anyway. So using some of those types of things really help. As Chris said before, it's that first impression that you get. So even if you use paint sensations in the entryway of the apartment complex, you typically see them, the parents, the kids walk in, they have that, they smell something, it's pleasant. It automatically starts it off on a good foot and it also tends to work all the way into the room. Yeah, that's right. Wow, that's really important. That's something I wouldn't have even thought of, but like kind of hitting those senses to make you feel like you're at home is really important. It's such a small thing that in, ends up making a lasting impact that you don't really think about. <laughs> and there's several different, you know, like I said, there's several different variations of that product and we have that at chadwellsupply.com. So what are some other common turn order items that um, that we carry or that are popular amongst? Batteries, that's a big <laughs> one. Um, batteries is a big thing, you know, light bulbs, a lot of the small things, aerators, um, you know, uh, blinds is a big thing. You know, we're the type of resident we're dealing with, you know, it can got, kind of get a little bit rout rowdy and um, they may not take care of things in such a way that uh, maybe a family would. So. Um, you know, AC filters, that's something that, uh, even Xavier in one of the other episodes mentioned that kind of gets, you know, lost in the cracks sometimes. And they realize after the fact that, you know, that's something that is, that is needed. So, uh, AC filters, you know, tub stoppers, um, shower heads, fill valves, uh, a lot of these little things, you know, that you, you want to make sure they're, they're new every single time. So nothing's out, nothing's missing. It's in there, everything that should be. Uh, that you might not notice unless it is missing. <laughs> correct, correct. Um, thank you, Matt and Chris, for both joining us here today and kind of talking on why student turns are so different. You know, we talked about a lot of subjects, you know, from the timeliness to that first impression, looking at it through the parents' lenses and just different things that can really make that student turn stand out, like tech outlets or scented paint. I mean, who knew? That's that's really awesome. I wouldn't have ever even thought of that. So I really appreciate your knowledge and your expertise in this field. Thanks for having us. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you for joining us on the MRO Show presented by Chadwell Supply. If you'd like to hear more of our podcast, please visit chadwellsupply.com slash podcast.